and welcome to another session of Sunday Setups. Um, today we have the three amigos on the call, Mr. Rodin, all the way from Holland, combined with my main man, Jay. Um, we'll be taking... How you doing? How you doing? Rodin, how you doing? Yeah, I'm doing good, bro. How about you? Money day over here, bro. Money day. Money day. So guys, be sure to check out our website, Learn Interact Trade, litcapital.co.uk. We've got some amazing courses for amazing prices, which give you guys a good insight to how you can learn institutional trading. Um, with that being said, we do have some new Money Day merchandise on the way, so be sure to stay in tuned and head over to the Lit store on litcapital.co.uk. If you've been following us for some time now, we appreciate you. Don't forget to smash the like button. Hit the bell for subscriptions, for notifications, that's the one. Hit the bell to keep up to date with our notifications. And let's get into this. No further ado, Jacob, take it away. Appreciate you, bro. Welcome, guys. So I'm just going to go over some charts for you. Uh, before we actually get into the charts, I just want to take a look at the economic calendar for this week. So we, it's looking quite juicy. Uh, we do have a lot of uh, high-impact news coming out of some central banks. I'm not expecting much from the Bank of Japan, but they do have their interest rate policy. Um, they never really change their interest rate, but you know, with the current circumstances of the corona, um, it'll be good to get insight as to you know what they are thinking in regards to um, you know fiscal policy and stuff like that. Um, going later on into the week, we do have the federal interest rate decision uh, coming out of US. I'm not expecting much as they have, they have trimmed it quite a bit. Um, but there have been some talks about maybe going into a negative interest rate. So it'll be definitely worthwhile to tune in for that result on the Wednesday, uh, followed up by Thursday, where we have some manufacturing PMI coming out of China. Um, that's due to be uh, one to watch as well, because, you know, as you can sort of hint at the, the manufacturing uh, services right now, are probably, you know, not, not outputting as much as they normally do. Uh, followed up by unemployment rate for the euro and we have an interest rate for the euro so pretty good news coming out of this week um, so you know we should get some volatility from Tuesday to Thursday which are the main trading days where we like to actually look for orders and entries um, so let me just take you over to the charts I'm actually going to start people off with what the DXY may be doing and what we would expect from the data supplier. So um, overall, um, we have seen higher prices on the weekly, uh, followed by um, some engulfing candles to cancel out the actual move. But in my opinion, I do think we can get a lower move before seeing higher prices. Um, so maybe getting a little spike higher to start the week off, maybe the 101 area. Uh, if I take you to the four hour, I was actually looking at this area here. Um, so it'd be, I'll be looking for, you know, a reaction off of the 101 whole level, uh, seeing what, what actually unfolds. And then if we do go back to the daily, um, I do think we can get a move back lower into, you know, this, this, this uh, swing down here, which uh, took out all of the liquidity before then going higher. So that's my preference in regards to direction so far i do think we actually can get higher pricing on the dxy just not right now i am expecting maybe a spike lower to wipe out some of this um this area here where we've seen a lot of orders getting stacked up um so yeah hoping to just play off of this last up candle here where we actually got this move down uh, to continue lower before going higher so the pairs that i am currently looking at for the week would be GBP USD. Uh, this was a move that I was actually looking at uh, prior on the Friday. So I'm actually going to take this off because uh, we did not gain an entry for it, even though I am still aware if we was to go to a lower time frame, uh, just to show you that, you know, this was the area I was looking at in order to get a play back down. Um, but I now looking at the chart again over the weekend, I do think we can see higher pricing on the pound USD. Um, but with that being said, I'm not the, the markets have just opened and not really interested in it doing doing anything at this period. Would like to see what it does uh, regarding when it gets to this area I had marked up. Um, but overall, I do believe we are still bullish 
in regards to uh, the daily and weekly time frame, if I just take you over, uh, starting with, so we get rid of all that stuff. Just by going off candle structure, I do believe we are still in the middle of fulfilling its uh, lower higher created in order to actually get lower prices. Um, so still bullish in order to um, complete this move, to go on the daily as well. Um, I just don't think we're, we're at the point where it's going to tank yet. And going off of uh, structure, we have seen a rise up here, followed by a higher low and then a higher high. And I do believe we did complete a higher low at the week just gone. So overall, um, we're seeing the ranges get smaller and smaller also, uh, which is just something I've been looking for in regards to uh, pricing, then expanding after getting smaller and smaller ranges. So it'd be definitely uh, something to look out for this week. Um, so yeah, I am anticipating higher prices, basically this area here is where I believe we can maybe get a sell eventually, but that's a great move upwards, um, in the meantime. So we'll be looking to try and catch an entry, uh, be sure to tune into the discord as well, uh, where we will be giving this setup out for the week, uh, when it starts to formulate. And finally, same, I'm going to go with AD USD, uh, where we've had, you know, similar price action in regards to higher prices. So bearing in mind, we are still bearish on the AUD USD. Um, it's, it's very similar to GU in, in what I'm expecting in regards to uh, this being a lower high, just being created before actually seeing lower prices yet again. Um, so yeah, not much has changed with this. I've been over this last week, I believe as well. Um, but yeah, overall, I did want to see this area um, achieve for us to actually get a buy. Um, so maybe, I don't know, depending on what price what wants to do, um, it could continue higher and then we could actually just get the sell, uh, which is what I would favor in regard to just a higher time frame premise. Or maybe we get the move lower before we get in a buy up into this area. So price is looking like it wants to uh, push for this area. So just going to play it. As you can see, I've got an alert here. Just going to wait for it to play out and see what we do come the start of the week. Um, those are the two pairs I'm going over, guys. Like I said, be sure to just tune into the Discord. And I'm now going to pass you over to Cavell. Your favorite words. Appreciate you, Jay. Yeah, love. <clears throat> yeah, guys. Well, I'm going to take you over just very briefly before I hand you guys over to Rodin. Um, Euro NZD quite a good week for us uh, in the community um, <clears throat> very simply guys without going too deep into this as Jacob's already covered a lot of the fundamental sides for the euro we've got the interest rate along with the unemployment rate coming out uh, midweek so I'm really looking to see a push up um, before the continuation to the downside I'd really like to see this um, remain bearish um, and in order for us to catch a nice buy I'm still waiting for prices around the 176 area. If I take the, here we go. If I take, I know there's a lot going on in the chart here, but if I take the, um, if I take us down to a weekly, I'm looking to see if we can get a reaction around the 180. The 180 marks are at the end of this wick here. If we could just get a, a price tap um, pulling back up before we get a move down, that would be really nice. We've been able to catch some really nice moves in this pair. It's been a really really good couple of weeks for us with the Urenta D. So really just going to wait to see what happens come end of um, end of Monday, going into Tuesday. And of course, depending on the directional flow, which at the moment is bearish. So, you know, depending on how we finish tomorrow, uh, may alter my, my decision. But at the moment, I'm still looking for this to come down. So <clears throat> that just means, guys, we wait for a pullback patiently for us to ride this train down. Um, GA also I'm looking for this I still remain bearish on GA I would like um, another pullback um, the push higher the higher the push the stronger the sell um, the weekly for me it, it's, it's made up my mind I definitely would like to see price come around these areas if not lower you know there's a lot of um, sellers excuse me there's a lot of buyers in the game here when you compare the buyers against the sellers there's so much more liquidity to the downside so I really would like to see um, a strong push down, but of course, prior to that happening, I would like to see 
uh, the pound just give us a, a tiny pullback. I say tiny. Um, if we can get a pullback anywhere around the 196 area, my gold line, or just or just beneath, you know, anywhere really, <clears throat> anywhere really that would take out this high and rival these areas is where I really like to, to to see a short from. But Monday we always sit on the sidelines and see what happens. So let's stay patient, guys. Stay focused and stay lit. Over to you, Rodden. Thanks, bro. Um, I'm going over gold today. And we are going to start off with the daily time frame analysis about it. Um, as you can see, like gold is in a really, really big uptrend for the last couple of um, years, actually. And it's it made like it had a lot of volatility in the last couple of um, months. Um, just before 2020, we really saw a lot of volume kicking in for um, gold, which resulted in great moves for it. And like, as I said, the, the trend for gold is currently an uptrend. And f that's why we don't really um, want to search for sales. Um, so I'm looking at buys for, for gold. And we now broke the daily high. Um, this is the daily high. Let me sh I'll show you it on the daily. Which means that we remain bullish for now. And also the reason why we should look for, for buys. So we broke the daily high. And we took like all the liquidity that's sitting above this um, this daily high. That means that we have reason to pull back right now to grab some liquidity and move out of uh, previous selling positions. And from there, we want to catch uh, a, a great buy opportunity on um, on gold. Um, for now, gold started off today with a big bearish candle, which was a movement out of the break-even point for um, like uh, the the market makers, and it's now really anticipating to go down. Um, and I marked up my, my entry level on this level right here, which also match up with this candle and also above all this um, lows right here and here. Um, so it can potentially mean that we will move uh, very, very low in the, in the whole correction of the previous daily move, which is, which is this move right here from the uh, top to the bottom because it's being sold with a heavy amount of uh, volume. So in the end, we're going to probably need to pull back into that area. But from now, it broke the high and I'm looking to go against all the other people who are trying to sell gold as they are guessing the high. Um, so when people are guessing the high, which is normal because um, the majority of people likes to guess the high. And from there, we want to um, find an and position against them and in this case is we are moving with the trend and against all the liquidity and the liquidity is really above this one hour um, double tops how they call it um, so from here let's say if everyone um, is trying to sell it we got uh, more more reason to um, to to accumulate orders in the middle of where they where it break even and if we come at a level where they are at break even, it's the most comfortable point and the most, um, the best outcome for them to add the most positions, as they um, need to have a seller on the in order to to buy. So they are buying and selling each other's contracts up, and from 50% of the push down into this uh, snipe zone right there, we will be looking for buys, which also match up with this candle. So if the price action will be nice on, on this level right there, around this level, as you see, I did my alert a little bit higher. So if we can really get the price action that we are looking for, then we can um, try and snipe gold to the daily highs. And this will be the daily high plus the intraday target um, that we will be targeting for an estimated amount of um, around five, yeah, close to 500 pips. So that's what I am looking for for gold. And yeah, I'm really trying to, to catch this around Monday, Tuesday, as it is close to the RIA already. Sounds yeah, good. 
guys, just to let you know, um, <clears throat> Lit Capital has now officially uh, merged with Vargas Capital. So really make sure for all our Lit fans and supporters out there, be sure, guys, to, to keep an eye out um, for, for trades that's going to be sent through in the Discord um, by Rodin. He, he's one of the youngest in charge all the way from Holland. So we've made sure to, to, in order to keep you guys with that fire, to make sure we're giving you guys trades that are hitting TP after TP. We've made sure that we've collaborated with the best. Um, so, yeah, guys, um, you know, big, big shout out to Rodin. Of course, we've worked with him now for, for quite some time, a number of years now. And we think it's really now been the, the best time to bring our two companies together. So, yeah, Vargos Capital will officially be, be partnered with Lit Capital and we'll be sure to bring you guys as much as fire as possible. Um, so remember, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Drop a like on the video if you guys have liked the setups and be sure to hit the bell for notifications as when we provide setups, you will receive them ASAP. And remember guys, every day is money day. Money day. Peace.